new show on chat with Trina. I had a I have a sister circle. I haven't done one in a while. I only did the one that I did. I got to do another one. Um, but I'm also having what I'm going to call my man cave. And um, with these shows, of course, we're going to talk questions and conversations about from the men's point of view, because men always say, oh, women bash and blah, blah. So I take the questions I get from the sister circle or questions that I may have or questions that people send me and I'll use mm -hmm. this man cave for that. And so just as an example to my viewers of what this is about, I think I mentioned to you that I was going to ask you a question or two. If the question is something that you don't want to answer, you can say, I'd rather not answer. Okay. You don't have that in your vocabulary. Um, dancing and relationships. How do you feel about people getting together uh, in the dance? Like if they meet each other in class and they start dating, how do you feel Nothing about that? Huh? Nothing wrong with it. What about teachers and their students? <clears throat> Nothing wrong with it. Okay. Yeah. Um, did no, did wait, you ever wait, interfere? Wait. Uh -huh. wait, wait, wait. So there's nothing wrong with it, but you got to make sure you handle it right. Reason being, students getting together in my class is like students getting together when they went to college. Mm -hmm. What's the difference? Students getting together when they at church. I mean, you know, not students, but yeah. people being at a church when you meet somebody. Yeah. What's the difference? There's no difference. We put so much on it. Now, the key thing is once you do that, you're going to be in a magnifying glass because everybody knows y'all. Mm -hmm. So can you handle it? Now, teacher and student, there's nothing wrong with that. It's the idea you're going to be in a magnifying glass again <laughs> because yeah. when you break up, if you break up, then everybody's going to say, oh, you got to realize as a fisherman, you're going to catch, you probably going to have your favorite place you go fish at. That's where you catch your fish at. Uh -huh. So as a man, if I were to be going to a nightclub all the time and I meet somebody at that nightclub, then this is where I met this woman at, at the nightclub. When we break up, I'm probably not go back to the nightclub no more. I'm going to go there again. So And get you another fish. I'm just joking. Just joking. But I'm, just, I'm just being real. You got to do that date strippers. Where do you think they met the stripper at? At the strip club, more than likely. Club. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. when he's not with her no more and they break up, he's back at the strip club. He may meet somebody else. Yeah. We gotta be an adult and stop putting so much like, hey, you know, he may, if I'm a man, yeah, why am I worried about who that man is messing with over there? Is it, is it my woman? Mm -hmm. If it ain't my woman, why am I tripping? If it is my woman, if my woman's entertaining him, then I need my check my woman ain't the dude. Uh -huh. So that, that's all I'm saying, you know, yeah. you got people that's in the dance community that meet each other and fall in love. I yeah, know and get married. And get married mm -hmm. and have a child. Mm -hmm. And one was from my class and he didn't beat her in my class. He met her in somebody else's class and she your homegirl. I ain't gonna say her name. Yeah. <laughs> but they love each other. Got, oh. got a child together. Oh, you know? oh yes. <laughs> so is that bad? Two people not at two all. People meet her? Not, not at all. Then yeah. I know a, a, an instructor who met a young lady in class and got married. Now they're not married to this day, but I don't think it had nothing to do with that. It just so all I'm saying, out. it didn't work out. Yeah. But what would be the difference that me working at McDonald's, you coming in to get some coffee? Hey, how you doing? I sent you my number. Now you like I'm you dating a dude from McDonald's. I mean, I, I think it's awesome to be honest with you because um people come out for recreation and socializing as well as the exercise. So you're bound and then you're, most people are there all the time. When you start dancing, you in that circle all the time. So sometimes people say, well, I don't want to date anybody in the pair because what if we break up? But that's something that you have to deal with. That's hard, but yeah. If <laughs> yeah. you're thinking, what if you break up? Because that's okay. I don't want to date nobody at Walmart because once you break up, I can't go to Walmart. No. <laughs> you and these analogies. <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm going to keep You're it right. 100 real. Yeah, yeah. If people don't understand, life is chances you're going to take. It is. You know? Have you ever ghosted a woman? Okay, you know what? Somebody said that to me before. I don't even know what ghost means. Ghosted you, me. You shut it down and you don't tell her. You just go away. You don't answer calls. You don't answer text. You just go. Nah, I'm too much of a uh, player to do that. <laughs> what does that mean? What does that even mean, Liddell? Because I got to tell you how I feel. Uh, if you did something I did not like, I gotta. I just can't knock. I gotta be. I feel like I'm incomplete. I gotta be to tell you know what you did. 
that wasn't cool. Woo woo. I ain't never just like boom, shut it down. Nah. You walk away. <laughs> and my ego's too. I don't want to say my ego. My my demeanor is too much of. I want to see you again, mm. and I want you to see me doing good. So then you can be like, you messed up. So I ain't, nah, I ain't never done yeah. like that. Do you has any? When you said someone brought this up to you before, did they say why they would do that? No, it was a young lady telling young me lady a dude ghost her. Dude, and I'm like, what is ghost? Stood you yeah. up? Yeah. No. You know, I'm old. I say stand up. I don't know about <laughs> ghosting. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. she was Ooh. like, I just never heard from them. I'm like, well, um, he a dummy. <laughs> Yeah, I got. I, if for me to ghost somebody, I guess that means they they did something to me I didn't like. So, I someone got, told an, an older gentleman told me one time he did it to someone because he felt that it was easier. He said it was easier for her, but it was really easier for him because he said he didn't want her to say something like, "Well, what was it me? What did I do? I can do better." He just wanted to be done. He felt like that was the way to do it, and then there's no stuff. I'm about to share something with the rest of the world. What's this that? woman never here. <clears throat> 51 years old. I didn't dated a few women in my lifetime. Never had one woman, never had one woman leave me alone. Except one. I know I said never had one, but <laughs> one woman left me alone. You have to remember her. Yeah, I know it. 2010, July the 10th. <laughs> and wrote me a letter. Would that be considered ghosting? No, because she wrote you a letter. There's some wrote closure. Me letter, wrote me a letter and told me she ain't enough woman for me. Never had wow. nothing like that. So I say that to say I didn't even know how it feels to have somebody break up with you. Never had it happen. Yeah. And what did you happened. do? That was well, uncharted territory, so <laughs> for you. No, it it was somebody who I met early in like '93 yeah. or something like that, and we ended up hooking up again in 2010. And I was like, okay, cool, you know, I'm, yeah, I, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna settle down and do the do the boyfriend and girlfriend thing, and everything was cool. She had three kids. Um, basically, this is how I felt. She had three kids, three different fathers. But the last kid, father was the was taking care of the, the, the last and the middle child. I don't want to tell the whole story. So right. I think she wanted to get back with him. Oh. And she didn't know how to tell me, Liddell, I dig you and all that kind of stuff. But uh, I'm going to get back with, uh, I'm, I'm trying to see if I can make it work with my baby's father. Gotcha. And I would have been like, I respect that. That's that's the point of I can't go. Like, that's grown folks stuff. Yeah. But she said that she was enough woman, and uh, she felt like I had I was messing with somebody else. Now, as player as I am, <laughs> I didn't have to do that. Cause I would tell you any woman that I mess with, I would tell you, hey, this is what I'm doing. Either you with it or you ain't. And I'm I'm good with that. Yeah. But I'm telling you, hey, you know, right now, uh. You know, I got another friend and, you know, we, we date and we can go out, but, you know, I'm not, I'm not committing myself. So right. that's the point I'm making. I didn't have to do that. Yeah. And when I tell you I was, uh, I was hurt. I made it in East for like maybe a day or two. Really? That happens to men? I think a full <laughs> day and a half, I didn't want to eat nothing. <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I was hurt. That's, like, what, oh, was it your ego that was hurt or were you hurt? Huh? <laughs> was it your ego hurt or were you hurt? Like you everything, liked her. everything was hurt. I was like, I never had nobody Do leave me. So yeah. I'm like, dang, is this how I be making women feel? It, it kind of <laughs> opened up, boom, you know. But yeah. I was hurt because I was like, you know, that one you just took to your mother's house. We, I'm living in Houston. I didn't drove to Fort Worth with her. I didn't drove to College Station to see my uncle. Oh wow! I didn't took her. She meeting all my family there. Yeah, this is, you know. It's yeah. gonna be Miss Hedro, Mrs. Hedro. I, that's how I'm feeling. But uh, I mean, when she shut it down, she shut it down. Wow. And the, I say to, I, I say the tenth, but it really was the sixth, the fifteenth. Because I had a reunion. I had a high school reunion go back to in California. 
and she was supposed to give me a ride to the airport. And when she broke up with me on that Wednesday, I had to find somebody to give a me a ride to the airport. <laughs> and I was leaving. So it was, I was like, man. That's crazy. But no, that's not that counting. It's not good, but that was not ghosting. Ghosting is you get nothing. And so when we had, um, so when I talked to him out of my- She left me a letter, might as well. She might as well just walk away. Um, a lot of women, a lot of women deal with that. Um, it's a guy named Derek Jackson, and he um, does a lot of videos, like, uh, like trying to do with his man cave uh, uh, series. Um, and he, but he talks, he talks to you, he talks to he's talking to women, and some men give him a hard time and say he's um, giving away the secrets. But he'll come on and talk about this is why men ghost. This is what you need, you know, that kind of stuff. This is how you know he don't really like you. This is how you know he's not, you know, he gives those kind of videos. None of that stuff is true. And I only say that because what my reason might be, and just, like Steve Harvey, that stuff he be talking about, that ain't true. That's how you feel, Steve. That ain't how I feel. I, I'm, if I, you my girlfriend right now. Mm -hmm. Just play, play along. Mm -hmm. If you cheat on me, or if I, if I cheat on you, mm -hmm. and I find out you cheating on me, I can't be mad at you. But you do, y'all do. They do. I'm saying me. That's what I'm different. Oh. Met a dude. He told me this. If he cheat on his girlfriend and she catch him, he gotta leave her alone because he can't trust her. He got caught <laughs> and he gonna quit her because <laughs> he can't trust her. But if she cheat on him, that's now that's player. <laughs> no, I'm just that's saying. Player. But if he cheats on him and he catch her, then he so she can't win either way it goes. Either go. way it go. That's yeah, crazy. Like so that's what I'm saying. That's not every man. Every man does things different. So you can just say, I know some guys like this. I know if I walked in the house and saw my girl with another dude, I ain't about to beat that dude up. I ain't about to beat her up. I'm about to y'all got to go. That's it. Both of y'all. But you put him, him, put him, him. He didn't just fall into the house. So that's all I'm saying. I ain't never act like that. But it's the way you was raised. So this is the kind of, go ahead. What you say? It's just the way you raised. I wasn't raised on man, I get rid of her and give me another one. Right. That's it. Um, so this is what um the man cave is gonna be like. Um sometimes it may be a panel, sometimes it's just one on one. It's gonna be more of a just conversation, but it's gonna be interesting. Um, you know me, I'm always trying to do something else.